Brandon, I'm going to ask the obvious question, <laughs> which if anyone hasn't seen the YouTube video, I'm going to ask. A lot of athletes, they get in a position where they're like, oh, I got to PC myself because I don't want to offend. You took the gloves off. Was it something? Did it? Was it just an instant reaction, or was it? What was it? Uh, it was a little bit of both. You know, it was an instant reaction, but that was the fourth version of the video that we shot. The first two, I would have probably lost some sponsors and got in trouble. The third one, I needed to tone down a little bit, so the fourth one is actually the one that you saw us post, and we did them right back to back. Bam, 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 bam. I just, you know, I, I our life, our job is a violent one. You know, it's, I'm always smiling and happy because our job is the exact opposite. And I never try to show that side myself. I don't ever want to have that unless I need it for the cage or if I'm in practice. But that day, man, it was just, that was enough. Like, I just had enough of that guy. And for you to say all the stuff you said and then not to show up to fight, man, it just shows what kind of man you're not. So, yeah. Now, you, after training with, you got AJ Matthews, you got all the, you got Cruises, you got Gustav, all these people you've trained with. <laughs> What it, are you? When do you find what works for you personally? After all these people and all this, I mean, you've been fighting for ages, and people don't know that. Well, they do actually. But. <laughs> you know, uh, I find new stuff to use all the time. Uh, I'm finding out more and more as I progress in this sport. Even though I've been here for a while, like man, there's still so much to learn. Like between footwork, which Dominic Cruz just put on a show, um, and head movement and hands. I never used to use my hands. You know, I'm, everybody thought I was a straight Muay Thai fighter before, but I started getting into boxing and the sweet science and learning how to use my hands a lot more. And it's been showing in my last couple of fights. Um, so I'm using that along with my Muay Thai and my footwork now and my conditioning is through the roof. I've never ever thought about having to be in shape. I thought about it before, but it's never been so urgent as it is now. With the global rule set at one, if you're tired, you're out of shape, you're on the ground, you might get kicked in the face. So I don't want to partake in any of that. <laughs> now, you've been an excellent fighter and had injuries that set you back, but back when you came on the scene and you were the truth and everyone was like, that dude's going to go light, heavyweight, heavyweight. Do you, I think you've lived up to expectations. And then when you see other guys like the Connors and all this, like Sages and Galveston, do you, do you kind of go, I know what that's like to be just shoved directly in front of hot lights when I was just at home. For sure, I know exactly what that's like. You know, uh, I, I got put in the limelight right out the gate, and it's a good thing. It's easy to crack under pressure, but as you're seeing a lot of the, I'm not gonna say the new guys, because they've been here, but a lot of the guys are in the sport are embracing it and running with it. So it's a good thing. And some of them, they probably turn it into motivation. I know, I know McGregor does, you know? It's his game, it's his game plan. So he's a master of his art. And last question would be, fighting all the places you have, is it all the same? Do you still get pumped up? Is it, are organizations really different or is it just the title of who you're fight, who's signing a check? Organizations are different. Whereas in, you can be excited to work for a company and not excited for another one. And, I don't, you know, I don't want to get on my soapbox, but it's, you know, it's, uh, you can see it, it shows. Uh, just not using myself as an example, but Mr. Mr. Ben Askren, when he used to fight under the unified rule set, he kind of just went through the matches. Everybody's like, oh, whatever. Now he's under the global rule set with a new company. He's taking everybody to the ground and destroying them on the ground. So the rules make a difference. The organization makes a difference. And the way that people treat you make a difference. And it's, it's showing. It's showing in droves. Like you can see where everybody's going, what people are doing with their careers, how they're moving on, how they're not signing contracts. So it's, it, it's coming. It's coming. Slowly but surely. Thank you so much, Brandon. Thank you very much. Pleasure. I appreciate Pleasure. it. Thank you. Oh, 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 I'm on top of the world. Oh.